Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be answering one of the biggest questions that fans ask every time an Arrowverse show is coming to an end. And that question is, of course, who is going to be coming back in that season finale of said Arrowverse show? Well, today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 9 and its final 13 episodes, and who is going to show up in that final season so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year so like I said this is a huge topic of contention in terms of Arrowverse fans and fans of to be honest any show that has sort of an expansive universe so you guys remember when Arrow was ending and when Supergirl was ending People were like, okay, so now Supergirl is ending, surely the Flash is going to show up in Supergirl, or Arrow is ending, surely the Flash is going to show up in Arrow. Well, that's not always the case. However, a lot of the time, characters from the past on the show will return. So, if we're talking about the Flash Season 9 finale, and we're going to get into this fully, but it's probably more likely that Flash characters from the past are going to show up. So we're going to be going through a list of them and then also talking about the wider Arrowverse and who could potentially show up in The Flash's Season 9 finale or its final episodes. But before we continue this video, I wanted to mention to you guys, I am going to be doing a very big announcement very soon on the channel. So you're going to want to stick to tuning into my live streams. I do weekly live streams, if you guys aren't aware of it, every Thursday, 8 p.m. UK time, which is 4 p.m. Eastern time in New York. So translate it to wherever you guys are from. But please tune in to my live streams in order to stay up to date with me. We have lots of great guests over on my live streams, plus also big announcements over there as usual. So that's Thursday, 8 p.m. UK time or 4 p.m. Eastern time. And just one more thing, if you want to become a member of the channel and be featured live on a future video, please be sure to click the join button below and you'll be able to become a super friend and you'll be invited to our monthly members live streams that we hold, which are very exciting and are a big bonus for you guys supporting the channel. So click the join button below if you want to become a super friend and join us on the channel today. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's main topic. So like as I introduced, let's talk about who could show up in The Flash's final season. First things first, let's go over Flash characters from the past. Now, obviously we're going to see most of the characters that we saw in season 8 in The Flash's previous season. So you're going to see Grant Gustin as The Flash, you're going to see Candace Patton as Iris West, Daniel Panabaker as Caitlin and probably Frost. Kayla Compton as Allegra, and then also, of course, Jesse L. Martin as Joe West and Danielle Nicolette as Cecile. So those are characters that are given. Also, as well, Chester, and probably we're going to see Jordan Fisher as Bart Allen, and also Jessica Parker Kennedy as Nora. But there is a high chance we're going to see people like Nora Allen, played by Michelle Harrison, and also Tom Cavanaugh, who plays... Harrison Wells, aka Reverse Flash, along with John Wesley Shipp as Henry Allen. So those are kind of givens, I feel like, even though Tom Cavanaugh, John Wesley Shipp, and also Michelle Harrison aren't series regulars anymore, they appear pretty much every season without a doubt, along with Jordan Fisher and Jessica Parker Kennedy. So I wouldn't say I'm going to be shocked if I see them at all. I think, you know, it's kind of a given, like I mentioned before. However, some people that I think could return could definitely be Rick Cosnett who appeared last season obviously he's played Eddie before in the show and it's been heavily rumored that he could play a version of Cobalt Blue and that was teased at the end of last season so potentially Rick could come back one of the top contenders to returning is obviously Carlos Valdez who played Cisco on the show now the one thing about Cisco which is weird as of right now is Carlos actually cut like all of his hair off he looks really cool but he just doesn't look like Cisco. It's kind of crazy. Like, yeah, look it up, guys. But that would be definitely a no-brainer for him to return before the show ends. People have been speculating about maybe a version of Matt Letcher showing up again. We saw him last season as a different good version of Thorn. Now, let's go on to some less likely people in terms of The Flash's previous cast. So there is, of course, Patty Spivett. That's always an option. There is Captain Cold, Firestorm. We've seen various people come back, but we haven't seen Patty come back, so I do feel like that's a possibility. 
probably going to see Natalie Dreyfus once again as Sue Dibney because we saw a lot of her last season. There is a chance maybe we could get Keenan Lonsdale and Violet Bean back as Wally West and Jesse Chambers respectively. That would be very cool. I would be very hyped to see either of them returning to the show. Victor Garber would be awesome as Martin Stein or maybe Teddy Sears as Zoom. There's been some teasers to do with that, but we'll talk about that in another video. But I think really the one big person that I would say should return and could definitely return is someone more Arrowverse related. So we've gone through the Flash related people. I think there is definitely a high chance for a decent amount of them. But in terms of the Arrowverse cast, so being from Arrow, Supergirl, or any of the other shows, I would definitely say number one on that list is Stephen Amell, who obviously plays Oliver Queen. So, why would I say that? Well, many of you guys have been speculating about that, but really, if The Flash is ending, it's kind of like the end of the Arrowverse, considering what Superman Lois is doing right now, potentially setting up the Superverse. So, with that in mind, this is pretty much the end of the Arrowverse, so it would make complete sense to have Stephen Amell come back as Oliver Queen for one final appearance. Now, I'm not saying that this is definitely going to happen, I'm going to say it's probably more likely than, say, Melissa Benoit showing up as Supergirl in The Flash's final episode, even for a cameo. And that is because Stephen is Canadian and he does frequently come back to Vancouver, so it's not as much of a stretch as someone like Melissa, who I believe is currently living and working in New York. So I'm going to say, yeah, Stephen as Oliver is definitely up there and is probably the number one on fans list. And personally, that would just be the best. And I really feel like they would be missing out if they don't at least inquire with Stephen. Now, we have no idea how things work behind the scenes, and we don't know if they've already reached out to a select amount of people from the Flash's past, so, you know, whether it be Supergirl, Arrow, Black Lightning, Batwoman, anything like that. Obviously, we know that they've been in touch with Javicia Leslie since she is showing up in the Flash Season 9 for technically a crossover, but she's playing a multiversal different version of Batwoman, obviously Red Death, as we've been talking about recently in some recent videos and live streams. We've seen those set photos. So with that in mind, you know, there is also the Supergirl potential crossover that was teased by Eric Wallace on the Flash podcast a while ago. So if that's still going ahead, that's already like too many crossovers in the Flash's final season. So why not go all in and try and get some cameos for the finale? And definitely, like I said, up there is Stephen Amell as Oliver. Maybe you could get Casey Cassidy returning as Laurel Lance or Emily Bett Ricards coming back. Or I would say definitely up there would be Superman and Lois, so Tyler Hecklin and Bitsy Tulloch. Because right now the two big shows that are still on is The Flash and Superman and Lois. Yes, The Flash is going into its final season, but Superman and Lois is still continuing. I think the one thing that goes against this is Superman and Lois' busy schedule, but I think if they really wanted to, and if they cared about the Arrowverse, I think they would make it work, and so let's just hope that Superman and Lois are able to show up in The Flash's season finale, even if it's for just a tiny cameo. So I think they're more likely than Supergirl showing up. I think Melissa is very busy right now. She's filming her other show, The Girls on the Bus for HBO Max. So I don't think she's actually gonna feasibly have the time to come over. Plus she just finished more recently than someone like Stephen Amell. So it's probably more of an attractive thing for Stephen to come back to the show than it is for Melissa to, you know, pack up everything and just come back up, I think you would probably have to offer a lot of money to be honest. Which the shows, especially under the new regime at the CW and Warner Brothers, definitely don't have as of right now. They're going to want to hold costs down to the very minimum, so I don't think they're going to be able to, you know, offer extortionate amounts of money to try and get certain people back. Now, there is obviously a lot more people out there in the Arrowverse in terms of who The Flash has actually crossed over with or just appeared with. So really, any guess is the best guess as of right now. But I would definitely say for The Flash's Season 9 finale, I'm going number one pick, hopefully Arrow. Number two pick, Superman and Lois kind of joint together. Number three pick is honestly anything else from The Flash's past. So 
I definitely think it would be a huge waste if they don't bring back Tom Kavanagh and Carlos Valdez because Tom obviously will be playing reverse flash. They need to do that kind of full circle ending where we go back to the night where reverse flash tries to kill Nora and Barry tries to save her. I feel the show would be incomplete if they didn't end it like that or at least have that scene towards the end of the season. And then with Cisco because you know he's just such an integral part of the show and he hasn't been around for this previous season so it would just be amazing to have him back even with his new haircut. I think they would make some funny jokes if he did show up with shorter hair but yeah for now that pretty much does it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos all of that would really help out the channel and I want to remind you guys live streams are every Thursday at 8 p.m. UK time or 4 p.m. Eastern time if you want to translate that if you're living in America and one last final thing as I said earlier please be sure to become a member by clicking the join button down below to support the channel but also be able to come on the channel with me live on a live stream sometime in the next couple of weeks but for now thank you guys so much for watching and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.